Elections Department plays a critical role in nation building. We are the custodians of the elections process and that's so important to upholding the integrity of the democratic process in Singapore. And it's so important in maintaining trust and confidence in the system of governance and also in the government. Well, I believe we have one of the most robust electoral systems in the world. Polling work may seem very mundane to everyone, but it's a critical part of our national democracy. It's thanks to the thousands of civil servants who've ensured that this is done properly, you know. It would be easy to think the elections department only kicks into high gear around election time. The truth is, the work continues for the officers in between when elections are called. This is to ensure operational readiness for an election at all times. Last time, uh, before 2006, we used to do this uh, you know, just-in-time concept, where near the election, we start preparing you know, for the election. But since then, uh, we have moved from a just-in-time to all-the-time uh, process. For elections to be conducted well, the Elections Department has to rely on public officers, and that means training about 35,000 of them to be election officials to undertake the whole range of critical tasks. PLD plays a critical role in training each one of us uh, from all the way from the legality issues all the way to the practical problems that we may face on the ground and the proper way of getting the things done. When you ask to do, you have to do. How difficult it is, you have to do, carry on and do as your best you can. Nothing is too big for them. So we are trained from the start to the end to ensure that we are properly equipped. So I am really proud and honoured to be an election officer. Even in the midst of election highs and lows, ELD officers and its dedicated core of election officials never lose sight of what they must uphold, the integrity of elections. This story I caught up when I was here, it happened in 1976, where our then minister mentor, Mr Lee Kuan Yew, and he went to the nomination centre, but somehow he forgot his identity card. And the poor assistant returning officer was at a dilemma to accept the nomination or not. Accept, he has, you know, everybody will know who is PM, see? but then the rule said you must produce an uh, uh, identity card. See? So, but that situation, uh, that odd situation was resolved by, uh, I think Mr. Lee's security man. Uh, he went home to collect the IC, and that's how it, is, uh, you know, it facilitated the nomination. Uh. So it showed how stringent we are to the rules and regulations. Even though you are Prime Minister on that day, you are just an election candidate. As a returning officer, one of my, my sort of instructions to the staff is no matter what happens, we on polling day do not do anything that alters the will of the people. Uh, the opposition party and also the ruling party is standing next to you. I mean, practically standing behind of you and uh, looking at each of your adjudication and of your vote and you have to be very firm, you have to be very consistent in the way that you apply the principles in whether or not you accept the vote or not. For 70 years, the ELD has held firm to its mission and core values. Its officers and election officials have helped support Singapore's democratic progress, which in turn has been critical to the nation's development. It is a significant contributory role and one that the Elections Department is determined to always pledge itself to.